Are you struggling to manage your debts? You're not alone. Many of us grapple with the challenges of juggling multiple debts, all with varying interest rates, due dates, and minimum payments. It can feel like a jigsaw puzzle that's constantly changing shape. The emotional toll can be heavy, leaving us feeling overwhelmed and unsure of where to start. But here's the thing. Debt in itself isn't necessarily the enemy. It's the lack of understanding about our debts that can lead us astray. It's crucial to know exactly what we owe, to whom, and on what terms. This means being aware of the interest rates attached to each debt when payments are due and how much we need to pay at the very least. By gaining this knowledge, we're taking the first steps towards regaining control. It's like shining a light into a dark room, revealing what we're dealing with. Understanding your debts is the first crucial step towards effective debt management. Budgeting is a powerful tool in managing debts. It's like drawing up a battle plan against your financial foes. The first step is to track your income and expenses meticulously. You need to know exactly how much is coming in and going out and where it's going. This gives you a clear picture of your financial health. Now let's meet Emma. She was feeling overwhelmed by her debts until she started tracking her spending. She discovered she was spending a lot more on dining out and online shopping than she realized. With this newfound knowledge, she was able to adjust her spending habits. The next step is setting financial goals. Emma decided she wanted to be debt-free in two years. She created a detailed budget that allocated money for her necessities, her debts, and even a little for fun. It was a tough journey, but she stuck to her budget. A comprehensive budget provides a clear roadmap to financial freedom, just like it did for Emma. Consolidation can streamline your debts and potentially reduce your overall interest. Now that we've laid the groundwork with understanding your debts and creating a comprehensive budget, let's dive into some debt consolidation techniques. First up is balance transfer credit cards. Imagine our friend David. He's been juggling multiple high-interest credit card debts. He decides to transfer these balances to a new credit card that offers a 0% introductory annual percentage rate, or APR. This move provides David with a breather from accumulating interest, allowing him to focus on chipping away at the principal amount. Next, we have personal loans for consolidation. Let's consider Lisa's situation. She's dealing with various debts, including medical bills and credit card balances. Lisa takes out a personal loan to consolidate these debts into one monthly payment. The fixed interest rate of the loan offers her stability and predictability in her repayment plan. Then there's the option of home equity loans or lines of credit. Let's take Mark as an example. He's a homeowner with a considerable amount of equity in his house. Mark decides to leverage this equity to consolidate his debts. By using his home as collateral, he secures a loan with a lower interest rate than most unsecured loans. This strategy helps Mark streamline his finances and reduce his overall interest burden. Remember, these are just a few examples of how debt consolidation works. Depending on your unique situation, other options might be more suitable. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any major decisions. In the end, the goal of debt consolidation is to simplify your repayment structure and potentially reduce your financial burden. When done correctly, it can be a powerful tool on your journey towards financial freedom and stability. So take a moment to consider your options, do your research, and make the decision that best suits your financial needs. Debt consolidation can simplify your repayment structure and potentially reduce your financial burden. Negotiating with creditors can lead to more manageable repayment terms. Starting with open communication is key. For example, James, who recently lost his job, reached out to his credit card company. He explained his situation and proposed a temporary reduction in monthly payments until he could get back on his feet. Moreover, negotiating interest rates can ease the overall burden of debt repayment. Let's take Natalie, who contacted her loan provider and successfully negotiated a lower interest rate on her outstanding personal loan. This simple step reduced her overall cost of repayment. Lastly, in extreme cases of financial hardship, creditors might be open to debt settlement agreements. This was the case for Mike, who negotiated with a collection agency to settle a portion of his outstanding debt in a lump sum payment. Proactive negotiation with creditors can alleviate some of your financial pressure. All right, folks, that's it for our guide on mastering debt management. We hope that these pointers provide you with the tools you need to take control of your financial situation. 
Remember, every step, no matter how small, brings you closer to financial freedom. If you found this video helpful, don't hesitate to hit the like button. It helps us to reach more people like you who might benefit from this information. And if you know someone who could use a little help managing their debts, please share this video with them. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We regularly post videos with financial tips and advice, and we wouldn't want you to miss out. Thank you for joining us today.